Welcome back. Uh, now we can continue with the picks of the week. This will be a, a two-part podcast. And I've done that before. The uh, New the uh, New Orleans Saints will uh, take on the Denver Broncos at Sports Authority Field in uh, Denver. Uh, and... <clears throat> And I have taken the the Saints, and so has my brother-in-law, and uh, we've both taken the Dolphins, and we I taken he's taken the Giants, I've taken the Bengals, I've taken the uh, we've both taken the Raiders, I've taken Arizona, and uh, my uh, brother-in-law has taken the Patriots. See, so that's another one we don't agree on. Uh, And uh, uh, we'll see. I think the Saints are going to get the win in that one. Uh, the uh, San Francisco 49ers will take on the L.A. Rams at SoFi Stadium in Inglewood, California, near Los Angeles. Uh, I have taken the Rams, and so has uh, my brother-in-law, Eric Hoyle. We both have. Uh, the Kansas City Chiefs will take on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers at uh, Raymond James Stadium in Tampa, Florida. And... Uh, I have gone with the uh, Chiefs, and so is my brother-in-law. And Sunday Night Football tonight, the uh, Chica- a legendary matchup. And it's an, a rival matchup. It's an NFC rival matchup. The uh, Chicago Bears will take on the Green Bay Packers at legendary Lambeau Field in Green Bay, Wisconsin. I'm going with the Packers, and so is my brother-in-law, Eric Hoyle. Uh... Monday Night Football, the Seattle Seahawks uh, will take on the Philadelphia Eagles at Lincoln Financial Field in uh, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. But I'm going with the Seahawks to win this one, and so is my brother-in-law. Now, the uh, Pittsburgh Steelers game that was supposed to be played Thanksgiving night, then got scheduled for today at 1 o'clock, uh, 1 o'clock game, now has been moved to Tuesday. And then it will be on NBC at 8.20. And that's in Heinz Field in Pittsburgh. And I'm going with Pittsburgh, and so is my brother-in-law, Eric Hoyle. So that's the picks of the week uh, for this week right now. Right now, I'm 0-2. My brother-in-law is 1-1. So we'll see what happens this week. And the Browns have just scored another touchdown uh, and a, and a two-point conversion, which... Uh, Succeeded, and they are in the fourth quarter with 14, 13 left to go, and they are the Browns are up 26 to 19 right now in the fourth quarter. Uh, well, so I really think the Browns will get the win uh, today in Jacksonville, and actually 20. Excuse me, the uh, Browns are up 27. To, uh, the extra point was good. My mistake. No two-point conversion. Take that back, what I said. It was just a uh, an extra point. So it's 27-19. The Browns are up by eight, eight points. <clears throat> so, uh, but yes, I really think the Browns will get the win today in Jacksonville. And I really think this is a, a winnable game uh, for the, uh, the Browns today. And, uh, and I think they will. They have really have a good chance to go to eight and three. So, so we will see, because uh, they've got some. I think Tennessee is coming up next week in the uh, week thirteen. But I'll have to check that, uh, and I'll let you know on the uh, Browns and uh, early games, post game show, uh, late games, uh, pre game show. Well, that's just about gonna wrap it up. For the Scott Sports 101 Browns and Early Games Update Show, I'll be back with the Scott Sports 101 Browns and Early Games Post Game Show, Late Games Pre-Game, pre-game Show uh, once the games have concluded. But until then, always remember, be a team player each and every day and every way possible. So long, everybody. 3-2-1. I'm done.